God bless you. Pastor Merv Massey, New Living Word. What time is it? Beloved, we see the things before our very eyes. We know all that we're hearing, all that's coming into us. Oh my God, it's amazing, unprecedented. We don't have the words, but there's an answer. In this season of time, it is time to make Jesus our Savior and our Lord. It's time to make Jesus, I must say it again, our Savior and our Lord. Why? Because he is able. The Bible tells us in John 1 that in the beginning was the Word, the Word was with God, the Word was God, and in the very beginning uh, was with God. Jesus was is God the Son and the Son of God and has always been with God from the very beginning. And so he is, as the Bible continues tells us, he has created all things. All things are made by him and everything that's made would not be made if he did not make it. So he is the creator. He is God. He is the creator. He's the one that God used when he said, let there be light. That was Jesus four days before there was a sun or a moon, at least three days before there was a sun or a moon or a star. Jesus is the light of the world. The Bible says, so in him was life and the life was the light of men. He is that true light, the light of uh, the light of every man that comes into the world. The Bible says he was in the world. He's the creator of the world, and the world knew him not. The world was made by him, but the world knew him not. He came into his own. His own received him not. But as many as received him, to them he gave power to become sons of God. Isn't that wonderful? Praise the Lord. Let's take advantage of our position. For the Bible says that in this season of time, he gives us a transition. He says that Jesus in the old times spoke, uh, God spoke to us by the prophets. He spoke to us by the prophets. He said, but in this hour, he is speaking to us through his son. His son, who is the heir of all things. His son whom he used to create the world. So he is the solution. Believers, what we need to do today is turn to Jesus and make him our Savior and our Lord. It's time now to have faith in him. Praise the Lord. Now, for you that know the Lord, for you that have asked Jesus to come into your life, Praise God, you're saved, amen. Now to make him Lord is a decision. It's a decision to follow him, to make him your final authority. The Bible calls Jesus the living word, the word made flesh, and the word was made flesh. We want him to be our final authority. We want the word of God to be our final authority. Therefore, we will have faith in God and not faith in all the stuff that we're seeing and all the things that are taking place. They are real, believers. They are real. But it's time for us to get back to the root. Get back to the root and make Jesus our Savior and our Lord. Jesus our final authority. Look at the benefits here of making Jesus Christ your Savior and Lord, Exodus 15 and 2 says, The Lord is my strength and my song. He is become my salvation. Numbers 14 and 18. The Lord is long-suffering, great in mercy, forgiving iniquity and transgression. Judges 6 and 12, the angel of the Lord, which was Jesus himself, told Gideon, the Lord is with thee, thou mighty man of valor. I'm telling you today, the Lord is with you. 
Psalms 10 and 16 says, the Lord is king forever and ever. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. In this season of time, Psalm 16 and 5, the Lord is the portion of my inheritance and my cup, and he maintains my life. Oh, my God. You're in good hands if you're in the Lord's hand. Look at the benefits of when we make the Lord our shepherd. Hey, very familiar. Listen, grab a hold of this by faith now. You know, we talk about the 23rd Psalms. Hey, make it real now. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. Is this it? I will fear no evil. Why? For he's with you. His rod and his staff comfort you. He prepares a table before you in the presence of your enemies. Isn't this good? And, that, and he anointed your head with oil. Let me tell you something, believers. You're anointed in this hour. You need to confess that, believe it, and receive it. And look what he says in verse number six. Surely, not might, not should, not could. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me. How long? All the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Praise the Lord. Look at the benefits when we make Jesus our Lord, the one that we follow, the final authority in our life. The Bible says in Psalms 27, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Whom shall I be afraid? The Lord. Look what happens. The Bible says in verse number five, Psalms 27 and verse number five, for in the time of trouble, my God, he shall hide me in his pavilion. In the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me and he shall set me upon a rock. And the very promises that God has given this church. Psalms 34 and 8. All oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusts in him. Saints of God, this is the hour to trust in him. This is the hour to make Jesus Christ our Savior and our Lord. I want you to listen to this. You want to pass this on to those that may not know the Lord in your life and let them know that this is the hour to make Jesus Savior and Lord. You've seen all the great benefits. Jesus came, believers, that we might have life and life more abundantly. And he can do it because in him is the life. He is the creator of everything and the maintainer of it. It can't go anywhere until he says it goes anywhere. It ain't over till he says it is over. Praise the Lord. Let your loved one know that does not know the Lord. Let them know that they need Jesus. If everything was perfect, we still need Jesus. That's how we have access to the Father. Jesus is how we have access to heaven. That's how we will remain in the presence of God forever. Hey, and guess what? There's a new heaven and a new earth awaiting us. Praise the Lord. So for your loved ones that do not know the Lord, we're asking you now to please confer this to them. You need Jesus. You need to be born again. We are born in sin and shaped in iniquity, and we need the Lord Jesus. Do Good doing is not going to erase any of that. Uh, if you go to church, I'm telling you it's a good start, but it's not enough. We need Jesus Christ. We need to receive him as our Savior and our Lord and walk in the benefits. 
For you see, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. I'm telling you, believer, ask your sons, daughters, your nieces, nephews. You hear me saying this on almost every message because this is the time to make Jesus Christ your Lord and Savior. I want to pray with you right now. Father, in Jesus' name, this is a critical time, and I believe that you are giving us time to get our life in order and to get our life in complete order, we must begin with Jesus. For you so loved us that you offered him up for us all. You placed all of our sin on him. Oh my God, thank you, Father, that we did not receive what we deserve, but he, the innocent, received it upon him. So today, we're praying for our loved ones. We're praying for our sons and daughters. We are praying, help us in Jesus' name. We ask you to bring the angels. Let the angels be reapers in this hour that men and women, boys and girls, will come to Jesus. Father, we thank you for this right now in Jesus' name, amen. And for those of you who have not asked Jesus Christ into your life, I want to lead you in a prayer. Repeat after me. Dear Lord Jesus, I am a sinner. I ask you to forgive me for my sins. I believe that you died for my sins, rose from the dead. I turned my life over to you. I've been running my life. Now I want you, Jesus, to run my life. Come into my heart. Come into my life. I trust and follow you as my Savior and Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. If you prayed that prayer and believe it, Jesus is now coming to your life. Now you want to be discipled. Stay connected to these messages. If you don't have a church, connect with this church as well. Thank you, saints of God. It's time now to make Jesus our Savior and Lord. God bless you. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram at New Living Word. Don't forget to like, share, and comment. For more sermons, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, NLW Wax Off. You can catch a 10.30 a.m. Sunday service on Facebook and newlivingword.churchonline.org. For more information, and online giving, please visit newlivingword.org. God bless you.